Hello, everybody. What a beautiful, beautiful sunny spring day this is. I hope you get outside to play a little bit today. I'm going to read you a story today that has a lot of farm animals and it has a lot of sounds. What's your favorite an uh, barnyard animal sound? Would it be a cow? How do you make a cow sound? Moo! Can you make a donkey sound? Let's practice. Hee haw! Hee haw! <laughs> Good job! You did very well with that. Okay, I'm going to start reading Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. And I love her incredibly colorful, brilliant illustrations. They are very detailed. Look for the surprises. There's surprising details in page in different pages here. And there's some humor in this story as well. I'm sure you will find it. Cows in the pasture. Moo! 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 Do you make the moo sound with me? Let's try that one more time. I want to hear you make a moo. <laughs> you do it better than I do. Roosters in the barnyard. Cock a doodle doo. Let me hear your rooster sound. There's something interesting in this page right in the center. Do you see it? It's a very interesting detail. Were they bees or were they little bugs? Hens in the hen house. What sound does a hen make? Where's Goose? Hmm, where's Goose? Pigs in the wallow. You know what I'm going to ask you. What sound does a pig make? Muck, 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 muck. Oh, I hear your pig sound. Oh, that's good. Where's Goose? Kittens. Who loves kittens? Kittens in the hayloft. Let's make some kitty cat sounds. Kitty cats are right up here. Meow. Meow. Pigeons in their rafters. Coo, coo, coo. Mice in the grain bin. Now, we're, before we make the mouse sound, I want you to look. They're, the tails are standing in a very, very funny direction. And look at what they're eating. What are they eating? Do you see that? Because those are the interesting details. Little kernels of corn. What sound does a mouse make? Eek. Eek. Peacocks in the wire pen. What sound does a peacock make? Tree. I hear you peacocks out there. Do you see that butterfly in each picture? I bet you can make beautiful drawings, paintings with colors as vibrant and bold as these colors are Denise Fleming has used. Ready for donkeys? Donkeys in the paddock. Hee ho, hee ho, hee ho. This is a fun story, isn't it? Crows in the cornfield. Ka, ka, ka. Crickets in the stone wall. Now look, look right in the center for the cricket. Chirp, 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 chirp. Do you see the cricket? Frogs, I know you can make a frog sound. Can you make, can you leap like a frog? Frogs in the farm pond. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh, I saw somebody do a great leap. There's Goose. Where's Goose? There's Goose. What sound does Goose make? Ah, ah, ah. The end. 
It's such a fun story to do together with you. I loved hearing your different sounds. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and the sounds as much as I did. Remember that one of the most important things that we can do as a reader is go back and reread that story. As we reread stories a hundred times to a child, they learn how they learn fluency, they learn to be excited about reading, they learn to read top to bottom, left to right, they learn there's a beginning, a middle, and an ending to a story. If I was reading this story with you at the library, I would have the paints and paper out, and we would be painting with all of these bold colors anything that you wanted to paint. I love the way that Denise Fleming mixes the colors together. Have a great afternoon.